all right so now that we have played around with data we have automated stuff we have validated stuff and we are all good with all kind of configurations now let's look at data visualization right so this is more important for the top level management the upper level hierarchy who want to see numbers and who want to see charts right they want to see how the system is overall working and if, if it is giving you know good revenue if it is showing up great numbers and that's what you know the top level management wants to always see so they don't want to dig into individual contacts or you know covid count records and see things there but they want to see an overall picture so for that salesforce provides two options there's one that called that's called reports and the other one is called dashboards all right so reports are nothing but you know uh, a snapshot of your data currently in the system that you can uh, view and just check how the numbers are showing uh, to understand you know key performance indicators so first of all what i'll want to do is i'll just go ahead and add these two tabs one is the report and the other one is the dashboard on the covid tracker application and by now i hope you are able, you should be able to you know add tabs to your to your application i'll you can just pause here and you can just think about how this could be done or else the solution is in a minute all right so i'll go ahead and add those tabs here so the shortcut way would be to use the pencil icon directly and add more items here but i'll take the longer route and let's go to setup i already have setup open and here let's go to applications or app manager so since reports and dashboards are also different objects in the system they can be added as tabs and since those are standard objects they already have a tab in their name so let's go ahead and edit our covid tracker application and here under navigation items we'll add two more app two more tabs so it would be contacts covid counts reports and dashboards navigation items so i'll just type in reports and just add it here and let's add the dashboard as well so these are the two items that i want to add let's click on save i also want to position the dashboard on the top so that every time a manager opens up the page he sees the dashboard first of all right so this is saved let's go back and refresh our covid tracker application and now we have all the four tabs coming up right let's open reports first of all and here under reports what we need to do is we need to create a new report all right let's click on the new report right so this first of all asks us to choose a report type right so we want to create a report of the total covid counts uh, you know the numbers that we want to see is on the covid count object so i'll just quickly type in here covid count and i don't see any results here right let me just see if i see it on the sidebar here so under all i'm not able to find the covid count report but let me just see in the other report section there's not nothing available for the covid count name here which means there's some configuration missing right so let's go back and let's go to the object manager and let me type in covid count here so when i type covid count you'll see that in the detail section the enable report section is unchecked right so we have to go ahead and edit it and enable this feature to be available for users once i enable allow reports here in the optional features this is when i'll be able to choose report types here all right so i've just saved it by enabling the reports right so i've refreshed this and now let's try to create a new report and this will ask me to choose a report type and now covid count should come up as an option so if i type in covid now so you see i'm getting contacts with covid counts why are we getting contacts because contacts is the parent and covid counts is the child so if there's a master detail relationship you'll see this with clause coming wherein you get to select two objects at once now with this report type you'll be able to see contact fields as well as covid count fields all right now that i've selected the report type let's look at what this screen looks like there are a lot of uh, you know uh, things available here to be you know configured but let's look at one uh, look at them one by one so the first thing is the name right here i can just click on this pencil icon and i can just say my covid count report all right so i've just changed the name this is how you can rename it all right and then here you have the feedback option that's fine you can just undo stuff you can add charts which is currently not available i'll explain you why you can save it and you can run it or you can just save it and run it from here all right so if i click on save and run this will give you so it asks you to save it now since we have already given it a name the unique name will be automatically populated you can add a description here and here you need to add it to a particular folder so these folders are nothing but folders for your reports so you can go ahead and create a new folder and you can call it covid information all right and just save it and save your report under this particular folder all right so i've just defined a folder here for this report and it will be stored under the folder and this folder can be shared with people all right so that's why folders come in handy they help uh, sharing uh, uh, a chunk of reports to specific users let's click on save and since i clicked save and run you'll be able to see how the report looks like right now 
right? So you have total eight records and all these fields are showing up and you have uh, information that's that's good enough to you know view at. But if you want to make changes to the report, you have this option edit here and you can just click on edit. This will take you back to the previous screen that we were seeing. Alright, so that's the first section up there and then you are previewing a limited number of records because if there are, there's a huge chunk of data, this, this uh, does not load all the data because that, that takes a lot of time. So it just shows you the a, a snapshot of a limited set of records. If you want to see the real time data, you can click on the run or save and run uh, button. Okay, now on the left side you have two options. One is the outline and the other one is the filters. Alright, so under outline you have columns that you are, that you have here you can just go ahead and add and remove columns which means whatever you want to show on the table can be added or removed from here so you can just click on remove and you can remove all these fields from here and now if you refresh there's, there won't be anything available your report return no records and if you want to add add stuff again you can just go ahead and add fields like this let's say i want to add the name i want to add active recovered and uh, deceased cases i'll just choose these particular fields and I'll choose the total cases and I'll see also the entry date right so these are the five or six fields I've chosen and I'll click on refresh this shows me a table with all the fields that I've selected right and if you see you have a summary or, or rather summation or the total count of active cases deceased and all the number fields right so for all the number fields you get a good summation of uh, aggregation of all the fields right mm -hmm. so if you want to see what are the total deceased cases you can see it right here okay so this is about how you can add and remove columns okay and this drop down here lets you add remove all the columns as well so if you have you know a good chunk of columns you can just click on this drop down and remove all columns directly all right next thing is you can group information by using the group section right here okay so this table that you see is, is nothing but a simple spreadsheet right it, it, it kind of resembles a table so this is called a tabular report all right so this is nothing but a tabular report so you see information in a table format and chart options are not available you know adding a chart is not available here okay but if you want to group information let me go ahead and add one more field here i'll just add the contact or rather the primary contact person right that's the relationship field let us see if i can find that field let me just add the contact owner let's see how this how does this look like so yeah so the contact owner is himanshu maheshwari right let's go ahead and Add the day category as well okay so these are all the fields I wanted to add and let me just correctly position them so you can just drag and drop fields like this and you can align them based on however you want to see them okay so I'll just add entry date here and day category is fine let me refresh and you'll see that the fields have been rearranged okay there is no day category so let me just remove this day category from the list because there's no data on that particular field all right so this is how it looks like now what if i wanted to summarize my information based on the entry date like i wanted to see how many covid count cases have come in for a particular day right so i could group information by using this row so now either i could use this particular uh, section right here and just type in entry date and i could group information by this particular section refresh and you'll see that the, based on the entry date your table has been summarized okay now the tabular report has changed to a summary report now because it is giving you a summary of ba summary based on the entry date field right so whenever you group rows the table becomes a summary report what if you wanted to group rows and columns like you know in a matrix format x as well as y axis right so if i wanted to group columns by the contact owner i could do something like this and i would see that for these particular entry dates under this particular owner this is the count that we have so you see this is an amazing screenshot to have right so you'd be able to see which contact of your organization has created what many records for each particular day you could easily track that and now this becomes grouping on both on the x-axis as well as the y-axis right so your summary reports uh, report converts into a mat matrix report this is called a matrix report and if you want to see the detailed information this table is available here as well okay this gives you a good count of the summation if you see all the sum summary summaries available for each particular contact available okay what if you wanted to switch uh, the x and y axis what you could do is you can just remove the filter you could just group it by contact owner on the row level and you could group, group it by entry date on the column level and if you wanted to refresh you'll see that now for the contact owner himanshu you'll see each day is segregated like this 
right looks cool so this is a matrix report the previous one was a summary report so whenever you just group rows that pick that's a summary report and if you if you're not doing any kind of grouping that's called a tab tabular report so if i were to remove this particular grouping let me just remove it and refresh it this is the normal tabular report right and here this drop down can also be used to group rows directly instead of typing it here you can select directly here okay so if you want to sort your particular column right you want to sort it ascending or descending you can use these options if you want to move your columns to the left or right and the table you can do that if you want to remove it you can use this remove section if you want to summarize the information and use uh, and see a summation or an average so right now you see the summary is basically nothing but the summation of all the records right instead of sum we could also see the average so when i click on average you see this number change gives you the average information also okay so you can see summary information like this okay but the thing is with tabular reports you then don't get to create charts but what if i wanted to group rows based on the entry date and let me just click on save and refresh and you see this add chart button is active now i can add my add charts here so once your report has a summary or it is a matrix you can also add charts now add charts is not, nothing but another visual representation of how your data looks like so you see this set setting icon right here you can click on this setting and choose any kind of uh, option so if i go for donut you'll see a funny and a fun cool animation and you'll you'll be able to see all the numbers right and all these attributes can be configured right you can have a line chart you can have a bar chart it could be a vertical bar or a column chart you could have a funnel so all of these options are available and uh, it gives you a good look and feel okay so here also you can you can use what what uh, color format you want to show whether you want to use values or percentages what value should be shown you have all the different aggregation options if you want to provide a title that's also available okay and if you want to remove the chart you can just click on remove chart and refresh this okay so this is how your table looks like right now let me just click on save so your report has been saved and this shows nothing but the information of all your covid count cases which are grouped by the entry date so for each date you are able to see the total number of cases right now we now what we want to do is we want to use this report and show it on a dashboard now you could have multiple reports right so you could have n number of reports let's say 10 or 20 odd reports you could have and you want to show them on a single screen so that's when dashboards come into picture right so if i switch to dashboards i'll create a new dashboard first of all and i'll name it my covid dashboard the description can be entered and similar to report folders you also have dashboard folders these are also required for you know sharing and enhanced sharing so you can create a dashboard for a dashboard folder for yourself and you can use that to share with specific set of people so i'll just save my dashboard in the covid folder and i'll click on create so you see once the dashboard is created you get a good grid available right and you can add some add and drop some components so you see the covid count report is available to be dropped i'll just select it and now I get all the options to configure it. So what I'll do is I'll just use this report. And let me choose the donut chart, right? This is a donut chart. And here, what should be the value? I'll see the sum of total cases, which looks fine, which will be sliced by entry date because that's this, uh, uh, you know, uh, splitter or, you know, uh, configuration parameter based on which I want to identify on what day uh, the cases have been there and what's the total case number display the units in let's say if i just change it to full number you'll be able to see the full number here right if you want to see percentages you can just enable percentages you see on 12th 9 83.3.38 percent of the cases have come on 12th 9 right so you could add the percentages also and then if you want to sort it by entry date or total cases you can configure it like this so your entry date will be sorted based on the number of total cases okay max values displayed if you want to change the title so i'll just call it all right and subtitle based on entry date i could just add a subtitle also so you'll see there will be a subtitle if you want to add a footer and the legend position is nothing but this particular uh, position you can keep it on the bottom like this or you can keep it on the right like this okay if you also have a dark theme enabled you can go with the dark theme and configure it in the dark mode let's click on add and this component is dropped here right and if i click on it you'll see that i'm able to drag it and as I drag it, my component, uh, you know, uh, restructures accordingly. Now, once this component is added and similarly, I could have many more reports that I wanted to show and I could uh, configure them and I could add them here. And once I'm done and satisfied with my dashboard, I'll click on save. 
right so once my dashboard is save i click on save and done and this is how my dashboard would look like so every time the manager or you know someone on the top level hierarchy would come they could just refresh this particular dashboard and they could just see the latest information now this refresh is only available once per minute if you see if i click on refresh right now it cannot refresh it more than once in a minute right so every other minute you can click on refresh and see the latest data and here if you hover over the data you will see a cool uh, uh, hover animation coming up that shows you more information about what's the entry date and what's the sum of total cases okay and this is the total information based segregated by the entry date and color coded and if you're still not satisfied with what you see on the chart you can always click on the view report section here and go to the respective report and see the data in a tabular format right here cool so that was about reports and dashboards.